Hi everyone, you're just in time for another great story. Peter Riffick, written and illustrated by Victoria Kahn. Pinkalicious, do you have any blocks? I asked my sister. I'm about to run out. I'm busy reading, she said. I want to build a giant tower all by myself. I never get to do anything by myself. It will be so tall that I will be able to get a star from the sky and give it to Mommy, I said. Wow, I want a star too. Can you get one for me? asked Pinkalicious. We can borrow some blocks from next door. I'll go get them. While she was gone, I made drawings of the tower that I was going to build. If it was tall enough, it could go out the window and right up through the clouds. Then I could stand on a cloud and look below. Here are some more blocks. Are you really going to make it all by yourself? asked Pinkalicious. Yes, I said. I got to work. The tower got taller. I used tape, rope, and glue to hold it together. I need more blocks, I said. Okay, I'll ask the other neighbors if they have any, said Pinkalicious. I used whatever I could find, including furniture. My tower got bigger and bigger. Look at all the blocks that I was able to find. But how will I get them up to you now? asked Pinkalicious. I knotted blankets together. I tied a basket to the blankets and lowered it down to Pinkalicious. Put the blocks in the basket, please. Can you get my telescope? I'll need it if I make it all the way to the moon. I want to see if it is actually made of cheese, I said. What kind of cheese? Swiss cheese? Cheddar? Parmesan? Here are some crackers just in case, said Pinkalicious. Peter, what are you doing? That doesn't look safe, said Mommy. Peter, come down right now, Daddy shouted, grabbing a ladder, but it was too short to reach me. Mommy and Daddy did not look happy. Don't worry, I said. I'll be back soon. I just need to finish my tower. When I finished my tower, I looked down. Everything looked small, but the sky looked big and bright. I felt like I could see the whole universe. I liked it here. I was way up high. I couldn't hear Mommy and Daddy anymore. I didn't have any chores in my tower. No one could tell me what to do. It was nice not having to share my toys. And I had built the tower all by myself. I knew I could do it. My tower was perfect. I tried to reach for a shooting star, but it was too far away. I had forgotten to bring my net to catch it. I looked through my telescope. Pinkalicious, the moon is not made out of cheese, I yelled with excitement. Then I remembered that I was all alone. It was dark. I was cold. I ate the crackers that Pinkalicious had given me. I realized my perfect tower had a problem. There was no way for me to get down. Suddenly, I heard a loud creak, then a crack. What if the tower fell down? I was getting sleepy. I will figure it out tomorrow. I wrapped a blanket around me. I am not going to cry, I said to myself wiping away a little drop of liquid from the corner of my eye. In the morning, I could feel the tower swaying back and forth. Uh-oh, it was going to fall down. Won't you give me a ride, Mr. Bird? I asked a bird flying by. The bird kept flying. I needed an idea. I know, I said to myself. I can tie the blankets together and make a great big parachute. Luckily, I was an expert knot tire. After I tied the blankets together, I took some rope off the tower and tied it to the blankets, and then to me. I used the basket as my helmet. I needed to be very brave. What would Pinkalicious do if she were here, I wondered. 
I took a big breath and closed my eyes. Think pink, I said and jumped. I floated down through the sky, somersaulting through the clouds. I landed right onto our trampoline. I bounced up, then I bounced down, then up again and then down. Whee! I yelled with glee. I was home again. Crash! The tower fell to the ground. Luckily, no one was hurt. Mommy and Daddy, I said, I am sorry. I promise not to build anything ever again. What? You are a good builder. In fact, you should build it again, said Daddy. Really? I said happily. Your next tower should be a little smaller and safer. And you will definitely need a proper way to get down, said Mommy. I'll build a new tower, and it will have an elevator powered by the wind as a way to get up to the top, and a slide as a way to get down, I said. And this time, Pinkalicious is coming with me, and together we are going to catch a shooting star. I can't wait, Peter. You are the best brother in the world. In fact, you are Peterific, said Pinkalicious. Thanks for joining me today. Check out these links for more great stories. And before you go, don't forget to subscribe.